it's a massive thing, you know, to wear a jersey that represents anything for you um, is a big thing, you know. Um, but I'm incredibly patriotic, I'm proud to always pull on the, the GB national jersey, so to wear a jersey that represents champion of, of Great Britain for a year to take it to the Tour de France next week, it's a big, big thing, it's something that you want to do proud. When you wear a jersey, represent your country, especially the way British cycling is growing, the way British cycling is now a feared country in, in the sport of cycling. And, you know, I want to do the, the jersey justice, do it proud. I'm paid to sprint. I'm, I'm the fastest sprint in the world. I'm paid to win bike races and sprint. I'm not paid to, to dick about in breakaways, you know. Um, but the national championships, you can't win in a sprint, you can win it in a breakaway, so I'll go on a breakaway in the national championships. I could do it in other races, but, but then I'm not going to win the sprint and then I'm failing at my job, you know. Nothing's going to limit my hunger for success. Um, I want to achieve the most I can do. I want to carry on winning, I want to make new goals. And, but fundamentally, I want to win as much as possible with the Tour de France. It's what my whole season is built around. It's what I grew up dreaming of as a kid and it's what I want to continue to do for the rest of my career. And uh, where that takes me, I don't know, but uh, but to be put in the same names as some of the guys that, that we talked about last year, it's a big thing, especially couldn't imagine it growing up. You know? There's a really strong group of sprinters coming up in the sport right now, and uh, you know, they will beat me. Um, but uh, one thing I've always said, if I have a bad season, someone starts beating me consistently, then I go back, I'll work harder in the winter, I'll change something, and, uh, and come back and hopefully on top again the year after. Quite unromantic, but the fact that I can wear the yellow jersey doesn't take my, it doesn't change anything to do with my preparation for the Tour de France, really. You know, uh, Tour de France is the biggest thing in my year, it's what my whole season's built around, so uh, it just so happens that there's, a, there's an extra motivation on the first day to win, you know, it's not going to change anything of how I prepare for the Tour. I think it's a misconception that. Uh, you know, my lead hours haven't been that great, it's just the other lead hours are better. And you know, people start dying the lead out. I think people had a wrong idea that I couldn't win without a train, so they thought, oh, if we have a train, we'll start winning races, which they did. They don't win as much as me, obviously, but uh, when the other teams built dedicated lead outs to start winning more races, that's what they did. So it's just, it's not like we've got any worse, it's just the other teams have got better, it's become more difficult for us to control it. Yeah, as things have been kind of growing it, in my career, you know, on the bike, um, and my cooperation with partners has become closer and closer, you know, uh, it made sense both from commercial and a sporting point of view to put my name to products, you know, I have a big input in everything I work with, that can be a pain for my sponsors sometimes, you know, ergonomically, aesthetically, technically, I, I strive for perfection, I have a vision of how I want things and, uh, and I work with my partners to get that. And the, the first First thing with, with the new brand, with the Cavendish logo here, is a, is a specialised vendor which I'll be using on the tour. Um, there's a limited edition for sale, um, commemorating my 100 wins, and uh, it's exactly the same bike that I use. I work with, with companies and partners that I believe in. I won't ever put my name to something that I don't believe in, and, and I won't ever put my name with a company that won't listen to me and listen to what I need, you know? And, uh, I really do have a really close working, working relationship with, with the majority of my partners, you know, with, with Specialize, with Nike, with Oakley, you know, and, uh, and I really work well to get the best, best results, to get best products for me, you know, and, uh, and so it, it just works to be able to do that, it's not kind of anything more than that. more nervous about the whole event. I kind of had to like snap myself out of it. I was like, I ride against these people week in, week out. There's nobody new here. 